تصلي له وصلاة وسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله during all circumstances we need to do our best to put our trust in Allah سبحانه وتعالى fear Allah تبارك وتعالى as much as possible and to put your trust with regards to your affairs in Allah عز وجل so a lot of times we seek help from the creation which is okay and it's permissible in those things they're able to help us and assist us with or to get advice the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said الدين النصيحة you know said the religion is sincere advice so all of that, that's permissible, and that's khair. But you need to learn to be stronger in putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's first and foremost advice to myself and then to my brothers and sisters in Islam. Listen to this beautiful supplication of the Messenger, alayhi salatu wa salam. A beautiful uh, supplication in Bukhari and Muslim, and we'll try to learn this supplication in the future, bi'idhnillah ta'ala. You can find it in Bukhari and Muslim, and, and also collected in uh, Riyadh al-Salihin in the chapter of uh, of tawakkul ala Allah in trust, putting trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we also need to have an idea what does tawakkul ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean? What does trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean? Tawakkul ala Allah huwa i'timad ala Allah wa fi'l asbab. That it is putting our trust, relying solely in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially with the results in something, and fi'l asbab, and making efforts. To achieve it. So, for example, we always give this example. You, you, you want your wealth increased. Well, you need to make efforts. You need to make legitimate efforts, not just supplicating. But if you have the ability to search for work, the ability to search for business, the financial backing to invest or have a business, then you need to do that and then put your trust, your heart, the results with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want to be an alim, you want to be a talib al-ilm, you want to be a sheikh, you want to be an imam, whatever, you need to make efforts to seek knowledge. You need to try, you know, with your, by memorizing, by doing the, taking the steps to seek knowledge and putting your trust, the results with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because ultimately, it's from tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you're able to advance your knowledge and remove some of the jahiliyyah, uh, some of the jahil, some of the ignorance uh, from yourself and to be closer to Allah and practice that knowledge and do those things which are pleasing to Allah azza wa jal. So that is uh, to, part of uh, tawakkal Allah subhanahu wa Listen to this uh, supplication as we mentioned. It's a beautiful supplication and I hope in the future that we'll have a chance to sit and study this supplication in the Arabic and its form because I don't have the Arabic text with me. Well, we can try to memorize it and then we can try to also benefit what do the ulama or sunnah say about this uh, hadith of the messenger salawat uh, rabbi wa salamu alayhi ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma he said he reported that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said uh, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, used to supplicate. So the Prophet وسلم, used to supplicate this supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He used to make dua with this supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, O oh Allah, to you I have submitted, and in you do I believe, and in you I put my trust, and to you do I turn, and for you I argued. O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you through your power. There is none worthy of worship except you alone that you safeguard me against going astray. You are the ever living, the one who sustains and protects all that exists, the one who never dies, whereas human beings and jinn will all die. Ruahu Bukhari wa Muslim. In this hadith and in this supplication of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are so many important lessons and so many fruits of Praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala support and assistance, putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Messenger alayhi salatu says, you know, he supplicates to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, to you I have submitted, submitting to Allah in qiyad, in qiyadillah, you know, you know uh, submitting, subservience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who you never seen, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we see his signs, his beautiful creation. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Submitting to him, meaning submitting to his commands. And in you do I believe, affirming your aqidah, affirming your tawheed, affirming that you worship him and him alone. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in, in, you do I believe, iman billah. This is iman billah. And tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa those are the pillars of Iman. The first pillar being in Tu'mina Billah, to believe in Allah 
So you're affirming the a pillar of Iman, the most important, the first pillar of, of Iman, of faith. You're putting your faith, your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in you I put my trust. Then the Prophet literally said, and, and in you I put my trust. So here you're, you're leaving your affairs with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're leaving the result to Allah azza wa jal. And to you do I turn. Who do you turn to? You turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking His support, seeking His assistance, putting your trust in Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And for you I argued, O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you through your power. There is none worthy of worship except you alone. Again, it's tawheed. Look, it's laced with tawheed. The supplications are tawheed. Have the tawheed al ibadah. That's tawheed al uluhiyah, tawheed of the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. That you safeguard me against going astray. And you're asking for hidayah. You're asking for guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah accept this from us as a supplication. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually give us this, uh, 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 you know, answer this supplication for all of us. I mean, ya Rabbil Alameen. You are the ever living. The one who sustains and protects all that exists. The one who never dies. Whereas human beings and jinn will all die. So that lets us know putting our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, putting our faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because all the creation is going to die. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Verily, to Allah, belong, uh, Allah we belong and to Him we will return. He created us. So we, put, we leave our affairs with Him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is imperative, Ahabat al that we understand these supplications and we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. And when we break it down and we reflect, it means more for us. That's why it's so important to Atlab al-ilm. Atlab al-ilm, seeking knowledge, it makes the deen real for you because your heart can be hard. Your heart becomes harder and harder the more you get away from the book and the more away you get it from the sunnah. And how do you get with the book and how do you get with the sunnah? By reading, reciting, reflecting and practicing and studying. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to, to accept all of our good and forgive all of our evil and give us guidance and bless us with ikhlas, with abad ala sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us in this life as well as the hereafter. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaban nar wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.